In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, good and loving Father, in these very difficult moments under which the world is undergoing, as we begin to address some of the issues posed by this pandemic, you raise the beginning and the end of what we do. From that to the address and bring a press conference to the end of for this for Christ our Lord. For the matters of Uganda, for the Son of the Holy Spirit. For the priests, the religious, and the lay faithful of the Archdiocese of Kampala. What I'm going to give are pastoral guidelines to all priests, religious, and the faithful of the Archdiocese of Kampala as we deal with, with this threat of the coronavirus pandemic. Dear people of God, considering the directives of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, as well as the guidelines of the Uganda Episcopal Conference delivered by the chairman of the conference, kindly receive the following pastoral guidelines for use in the Archdiocese of Kampala. Gatherings have been banned, but celebrating Holy Mass has not been banned. That has to be made very, 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 very clear. The sacrifice of Holy Mass, other sacraments and sacramentals, as recommended by Canon number 904, the priests are continuing to celebrate the sacrifice of Holy Mass daily, but at a private level. Kindly contact them via their mobile phones for your intentions and counseling. However, care as well as prudence at be observed in administering the sacraments and sacramentals. What does Canon 904 say? It says the following, that indeed the daily celebration of the Eucharist is honestly recommended because even if it should not be possible to have the people present, it's an action of Christ and the church in which priests fulfill their principal role. So even if gatherings have been banned, but we have the obligation of celebrating Holy Mass privately. Two, the ministering of God's word through the media. In order to uphold our closeness to the people of God, the church will continue to reach out to the faithful via the available means of social communications. For example, via television broadcasts. We plan to broadcast mass on various television stations for the faithful to follow. The television stations and the time when these masses will take place will be communicated to you so that you can tune in and follow. Sunday mass at the cathedral will also be broadcast on live TV as per the guidelines from the Venice Conference. The faithful are dispensed from personally attending the sand obligations during this period when public gatherings are banned. However, the faithful are encouraged to tune in every Sunday to prayerfully follow the sacrifice of Holy Mass and especially join their prayer intentions to those of the celebrating priests. Two, via Radio Maria and Radio Sapiencia. These are already broadcasting daily masses for the faithful. 
you are therefore encouraged to tune in to these radio stations so as to follow mass and obtain spiritual nourishment and comfort in this time of trial. Already some parishes have broadcasted their programs for having masses celebrated uh, via radio, uh, respectively. Then, via someone's homilies and reflections, all these are also going to be live streamed or posted on the on the adjacent social media platforms, namely our website, YouTube channel, and Facebook page, which are going to have material for spiritual nourishment. We are all encouraged to visit our website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel to follow. Three, the primacy of prayer both in homes and in the life of the church. The catechism of the Catholic Church refers to the home, to the family, as the domestic church. And that can be found in Numbers 1656. In this period, I encourage families to engage in an active and intensive prayer life, begging the Lord to help the world overcome this threat of COVID-19. Remembering the miraculous cure of a similar plague, Kawumpuri, in the past, through the intercession of the Uganda Martyrs, and this took place in 1942, when there was a plague where there was no medicine, and people were advised and encouraged to pray through the intercession of the Holy Matter, to pray through the intercession of the matters, and miraculously this plague disappeared. I strongly appeal to you to pray through the intercession of the Uganda Matters. Every Friday during Lent, we have the Week of the Cross. So during this delicate period, the work of the cross is to be carried out in our respective homes. The rites of Holy Week, starting from Palm Sunday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil, and Easter Sunday, are not to be publicly celebrated. But the faithful can follow the celebrations from home as it will be aired out on various Middle of social communication, and we shall also be broadcasting a program for that period. The cartoonists who have been awaiting baptism during the Easter Vigil may continue their formation in their families. They'll be baptized at a later date to be announced. The reading and meditating on the Word of God at home. I encourage you in this time to revive the spirit of meditating on the daily word of God at family level so as to obtain nourishment from it. For it is not only alive and active, but also gives life. In the Catholic Church, all over the world, we have a system that on each particular day, Particular readings have been taken, and those are taken all over the world, China, India, Asia, etc. And those are well indicated that the Christians know, so please read them in your respective homes. <coughs> Number five, the ministry to the sick, the poor, and the bereaved. It's important that the sick and the bereaved Fully taken care of by the ministers, healthcare workers, and the whole community, bearing in mind the directives of the president as well as those of the Ministry of Health. These pastoral guidelines start with immediate effect. May the Blessed Virgin Mary help of the sick and comfort of the afflicted intercede for us all in this trying time. 
that her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, may heal the world of this courage of the coronavirus. Since members of the public shall not be able to receive Holy Communion, let each one of us make an act of spiritual communion composed by St. Alphonsus Liguri. And this is what he says. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Then the following prayer should be recited in this challenging moment of the corona pandemic. It will be distributed. So I wish to conclude the follow with the following prayer to be recited in these challenging times. Dear Father, we come to you now in our great need, namely, to ask for your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has claimed many lives and has affected many people all over the world. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature the cause of this virus, finding it secure, and stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of the medical experts, the government, and the legal leaders for the effective medical as well as pastoral care. We pray that we may minister to the sick with the competence as well as with compassion. We also pray for our government and the agencies that assist them to handle well and effectively this new challenge. May God grant them the knowledge to find the right cure and solution to this pandemic. We also pray for those afflicted. May they be restored soon to good health. Give us faith, hope, and love in handling effectively the current emerging challenges. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this while Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Holy Mother of Uganda intervene and pray for us. We are sincerely Archbishop Cyprian Christoloanga. Thank you for listening.